Hi guys, my name is Melody and thanks for stopping by. And this video is an idea that my son had, who is nine, about to be ten next week. Um, and uh, he wanted me to do a relaxation video because he said that by telling people how to relax during this time is very important because everyone needs to know how to get uh, into a relaxing place, especially with how everything is going and seeing as we're all cooped in the, up in the house and we're either on lockdown, quarantine or self-isolating just now. If you're not cooped up in the house and you are working, I do think that you're doing an excellent job. If you're an NHS worker, I support you no end. And thank you for your work. And this could maybe help you to relax once you get in from a hard shift or a very trying shift. Now, the first thing I do, because I I need to keep myself in a, in a good mental health um, headspace, as I do have uh, bipolar and uh, generalized anxiety, um, OCD, um, oh, other things, just other things. Let's just say other things. It's just too much. And uh, the first thing I like is I like smelly things. So I like candles. This is my last big candle. I got it from TK Maxx. It was like 12 pounds or something. It's pomegranate and cassis um, and it's a fragrant candle. So what I'll do is I will light the candle or I also have wax melts, um, which I have a drawer full of them because you could get them at Asda. They may still be selling them, but uh, wax melts from Asda are, are they're beautiful. They smell amazing. And so I get it and I will set my wax melts or my candle on. And in the, during the day, I will morning, I will get up and I will put on a face mask and basically skincare is a very relaxing routine so i put on my face mask and i will sit there for 10 minutes and i'll put on like uh, a youtube video now i will say my best youtube videos for me relaxing is peter mon he's got a vlog that's usually like an hour or so that's a really good one peterisms where he does the meditations not the not uh, the reviews ones are good uh, for relaxing. I've sort of stayed clear of the drama videos for relaxing. I don't do drama videos if I want to relax. Um, or um, I'll watch uh, Graveyard Girl because uh, even though she's very hyperactive and like, ah, uh, she is very relaxing. And uh, Raw Beauty Kirsty is my other favorite there. I do have others that I watch that I quite like, um, but I think those are my top ones that I like to kind of save for later because they're my favorites and there's I save them for best if that's a thing so I save them for when I want to like feel relaxed and calm with myself is I'll watch their videos um and then that gets me in a nice headspace so what I'll do then after that is I will um go and I will do all of my like uh, skincare and I'll make sure that I've put it on and I'm taking care of myself and I'm taking time to make sure that uh, that everything soaks in and that I'm not just rushing things. I mean, it's not, at the moment, it's not like most people have to go out or do anything like that, but it's a, it's a further quality is I like to just kind of like relax into it. I mean, you can do this at the end of the day as well. Um, taking a relaxing shower is good uh, or a bath. Um, I'm not really a bath taker, but a long shower is really nice. I like the water really high, but that's one of the things I like to do is I like to go through and, and do, um, a skincare as, um, as a calming routine. Also the fragrances, that's what I like to keep going all day, to be honest with you. It's something that I do all day. Another thing I do for relaxation is crafts. Um, I am a big lover of crafts. I like to knit. Knit calms me down. It keeps me like my hands busy, which keeps my brain busy because it's a lot of counting and numbers and repetitive cycles. So it's very relaxing when you're just uh, going through that over and over again. Um, you can draw, you can do crochet, you can do whatever. My son is really talking in the background, isn't he? 
um he's very loud he loves to talk um but like so, um, some sort of craft or thing like that if you've got something at home it's about, I imagine like if you have something that you've put in the closet for a while and you're like mm, no I'm not gonna finish that you can finish that now I'm currently doing a mega blanket which I would like to uh do a video on my mega blanket which could be super boring however I think that that might be <laughs> it's relaxing for me and these are basically my videos and it's my channel and I like to be random so yeah and the mega blanket other things I do is makeup makeup putting on makeup is like one of the most relaxing forms of art that I can do it's like because I'm just sitting in there and I'm just getting into the colors and to what I want to do and it takes me like for ages, as you know, 40 odd minute video, it'll take me 40 odd minutes. If I'm going out, it can take me quite a long time or sitting there and doing my hair or things like that. Um, other things that um, you can do is listening to music. Um, there's some good playlists on Amazon to relax to. Um, I kind of like to relax to things like, uh, Marvel soundtracks. Um, if you get on to Amazon Prime, which I do have because I'm a student, so it's cheap. Um, they've got like all these Marvel playlists and it's just the music. So it's just like the classical stuff. It's not classical, but it's just like the orchestra style music that goes on the background of these movies, which is absolutely brilliant. I love all of that. So put on the music and just like, just sit and chill for a while. Another thing I like to do is paint my nails because again, I like the art aspect of things and I'll get, I haven't painted them in, in weeks because I've just been busy working on essays, but I'm going to get into that and I will do my nails at some point, which I think I might video because I'm going to be using the new stuff from Holo Taco because I got that for my birthday before everything went pants anyway. So yeah, that's another thing is because a lot of my relaxation is art based um, because I've always like had that sort of mindset that I like art and things like that. Um, sort of um, aspect is something that's it that's um, quite detailed so like coloring or drawing or like painting that sort of thing but I, instead I use makeup I paint my nails things like that so that that's another one and then also another one is like find a good book just sit there with a good book and just read and if you like books and you like if you like reading, um, I do have Goodreads uh, if you want to be my friend on Goodreads and you can see what I've been reading. But a lot of times to get escapism is the way to go. Um, if you want to relax, just escape from yourself. But that's another thing that you can do um, to, to get out of this headspace. There's a lot of um, Terry Pratchett's Discworld. That is a is a good like go into somewhere else. But that's like fantasy. But some people don't like fantasy. But I like fantasy. So, or Audible is as is good as well. Not sponsored. Wish was. But if you go to Audible um, and download books there, um, and you can listen to that or a good podcast. Um, again, I love the dollop. I know it's history based and it's a bit mm, cringy at some points, but that's relaxing as well for me to listen to other people talk. The basic idea of relaxation is to get out of your current headspace. So whatever you're in at that place in time, you're going to go somewhere else. So any of these ideas can work. Baking, um, game night with the family, that sort of thing. All of it can work. Um, but these are some things that I do to get out of my headspace and to try to, to get to a point where I'm calmer and things like that. And it has worked lately because I am not as stressed as I was. Um, I'm still stressed about a couple of things, um, that I need to ha have happen, um, such as, uh, hospital appointments and such not, that won't be happening for a while, um, unless everything is really bad. Um, I hope not. Um, just say a little prayer for me if you're religious, um, uh, that, uh, we don't have any issues. Um, but, uh, at the moment I am 
dealing with what's going on with my body. It just happened to come at a really inopportune time, but I'm not going to stress about it. I'm going to go and do the things that I want to do and relax and try to um, not think about uh, the world. And hopefully um, we can uh, all be relaxed together. Um, just to remain positive, everything will be okay. We will come out on the end of this and and the life will go back to normal but i hope it doesn't go back to normal as it was i hope it goes back to a more respectful and happier place and that people show the same level of um support and uh niceness that they are showing now and that the kindness continues However, if you want to take any of these options, let, let me know what you like to do to relax because this is just a few things that I like to do. Used to be eaten. Can't do that so much these days. But yeah, what do you like to do to relax? Oh, I also like to do Pilates. Pilates is really good for my back and things like that because I have uh, sciatica because uh, if you want a checklist of all the medical problems I have, um, I can give you that. It's like, psh, but yeah. Anyway, do Pilates and do some exercise. Just get yourself out of that headspace. Get yourself busy. Keep your keep your mind busy and you will be okay. And we'll all be fine and we'll all get through this together. I want you to all stay safe, stay positive. I love you and I will see you on my next video. And if you like me and I'm not too boring for you, please hit the bell, click subscribe, whatever, do the things. Love ya, and I will see you later. Bye!